Hey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellen and in today's... This is my dog Bolush. <laughs> he wanted to say hi. Today's video I am going to show you what my day looks like when I'm designing. Today I am at home. Usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays I don't have any lectures. So it's the perfect day. Revision for school to start the designing for new projects and I'm going to take you along with me today. These are the tasks that I need to do today. I will insert them here. So before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe and put on the notification bell to see more of my content. And let's get started. So this is what I made for breakfast. I made a wrap with eggs, bacon, some salad and then I also added some berries and strawberries. So here you see me drawing plans. This week we got for our practical classes new projects and this is one of them. Okay, so I'm now going to sit downstairs because my parents just went to the shop and my little dog can't be home alone. He literally hates it. I'm going to take my laptop and sit downstairs and work further. So for my new project I need to redesign the roof of an old church. Luckily plans already existed so I could just easily draw over them. Okay, so we are the next day. I was a bit struggling with the task from yesterday. I spent hours on this task. I don't know what it was, my pictures wouldn't load. I will finally show you what I did yesterday. So for another class I had to make a 3D model with the program MeshUp. It was a building we visited and we had to choose a detail that we liked. I have like plenty of post-its that I haven't used so I think I'm just going to write on here what I need to do. Okay so I did a quick smoothie break. I made a smoothie with soya milk with a banana flavor, then spirulina, blueberries and some raspberries. Before I could start designing, I really wanted to have a solid base to work on. After that, I can start brainstorming for ideas. For the 3D model of the building for my media class, I had to draw a frontal plan, as you can see. Afterwards, I went to school. It was really sunny out today. I had a class called Construction. Here we mainly learn how to draw them. Good morning everyone, so today I woke up at 6 a.m. Today is my last lesson of the week. Right now I'm going to make breakfast. So at school I had a exercise where we had to calculate the heat gains and losses. So I'm now back home and I'm now going to get a free goodie bag. If you're a Belgian student you can get this also for free. I will link it below. So I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Um, as you can see in the beginning of the vlog I was wearing like summery clothes for spring but you know, with the Belgian weather, it really fluctuates a lot. And now it's pretty cold outside. I think next week the weather will be nicer. So when I wanted to get a goodie bag, I had a flat tire. So I will probably get it tomorrow. Instead, I played a bit with my dog. Look how cute he is. And I also wanted to show you how good the food looks that my mom made. She's the best cook. So today is Saturday and I'm going to make a model and also really design today because on Monday I have a feedback moment. So I will show you what I will do today. 
As you can see, the table uh, looks right now as a war field. There are many things on here. So then I started off with chalk paper and I drew over the existed plants. So that way it was quicker to draw it. I always use a triangle ruler. It's easy and also very quick to draw like smaller lines. Also my dog bit my tip of my pencil. I didn't do that. I went over each line until I had full plan drawn. I did this because I thought I wanted to work on that scale for my model. Later on I did change my mind because it was actually way too small. Eventually I did make use of them and I used them as a circulation plan. Then I also finished up the plans of the roof and also a section. Okay, so we got our free student pack. Link it below, like I said, it's until 6th of June that you can get one. Highly recommended because there are actually a lot of things in here. So the first thing that we have is a water bottle with raspberry apple flavor. I already drank a bit of it. It's really good. Then we have a alcoholic drink another alcoholic drink we have some chips candy then we have a red bull an energy drink and also a icy there was also a cookie from this brand but i already ate it and then we have just some coupon codes and some flyers so definitely check it out if you want some free foods uh, while you're studying for your exams so here I was preparing for my model. For small sketches I use this little notebook. I keep here feedbacks, measurements, brainstorms, anything that comes in my mind while I am designing. So my model will be on a scale of 150, so I wrote the correct measurements in here. So here you see that I finished one construction of the roof and I like to separate them in piles so it won't get messy. Then I glued each pile of the sticks together until I had 9 of them. For the next step I have to add the other sticks between the holes. Thing that is actually really annoying is that I can never do my nails when I'm making models because I will always get like glue stuck to my fingers like it's so annoying this is the glue that I use I talked about it in another video when I ran out of the glue so check that video out if you haven't already it was also similar to this video where I just showed you like my final week to a new project so this was a step where I was definitely struggling the most, so I had to add two wooden sticks diagonal. Also the material I used is balsamic wood if you're interested. So if I wanted the sticks to fit I had to cut holes in the existing structure which was quite hard if I'm being honest. This step nine times until I had all the frames for my structure. Then I felt like my plants were missing something, so I wanted to add a bit of color to my plants. I am a big fan of watercolors. I like to use it when I want to add some textures in my design. It's easy to blend and with enough water you can also erase what you don't like. It's also very affordable and not that hard to learn. You just need to play around with it. So then I glued all the pieces together and here's the final result. I am really happy how it turned out. It's exactly how I imagined it to be.
Okay, so I did forgot to film a outro. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you like to see more. Also, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I will see you next week. Bye!